Welcome back to Louisiana. I am Samuel and today I am actually back with a little bit of a how-to video. Now it's gonna be a little bit more than a how-to because we're gonna be having some fun examples and just messing around with it, but I'm gonna be showing you how to do some of this stuff. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about a Lumix G95 and a very, very special feature that this camera has uh, that Lumix cameras have called Live View Composite. So Live View Composite is a uh, really special feature that allows you to essentially take a long exposure photo in any type of lighting. It's uh, it's really amazing. I've really messed around with it a lot and uh, it's something that I think is awesome. So I'm excited to show you guys how to do it, give you some examples and we're gonna just play around with it and uh, take some cool photos and maybe you guys can get expired to go out and take some on your own. So let's get into the video. So this is the camera I'm going to be using, it is a Lumix G95 and uh, all the, the Lumix uh, mirrorless cameras and uh, their, their camera systems have this feature called Live View Composite. So the way it works is you set all your settings uh, to so your shutter speed, your aperture, you just set your normal photo settings, right? You get a normally exposed photo and then this uh, camera will take multiple photos for the duration that you want and it will stitch all these photos together to essentially be a composited long exposure photo here. It's called Live View Composite, and uh, it's really, really amazing because you can take star trail photos with it. Uh, you can take any type of long exposure photo you'd want to take without having the dedication of having your aperture sitting there open the entire time. So it's way more flexible, and uh, it's more fun to use, in my opinion. So we're going to be trying it out, and uh, I'm going to show you guys some of the little tips that I've learned from, from taking a lot of these photos. Uh, kind of let you know how to do it and uh, how to get the best results from it, and then we're just going to go play around with it and see what we can take today. So I'm excited. And uh, let's just jump right into the settings here. So we're just looking at our Lumix camera, right? And after we get our exposure properly exposed, so let's say we were uh, at a 50 second exposure. We were at about F uh, three and a half, and we have an ISO 400. So that's our, expo our exposure we're taking. And the photos look decent. So we're just gonna remember that. And then we're gonna go to our menu, and we're gonna go up into the camera mode right here. And on the next to bottom page, we have Live View Composite. So right here, we're going to click on that, and we get to set our exposure. Uh, so our exposure is here a little bit different. So we have one half of a second all the way up to 60 seconds. So now we say, okay, so we have a half a second is our lowest exposure. So we're going to have to go back, and we're going to have to re-expose our photo to use a half a second exposure if that's what we're taking. Or we'll just remember, you know, if our exposure is more than half of a second, we can go to uh, more than half a second. And we'll go to our Live View Composite and we'll set our exposure to whatever we found our proper exposure needs to be. And then we can just go back over here and we have our ISO set and our aperture set. And we're gonna take our exposure dial and we're gonna dial and we're gonna go all the way up, way high. We're gonna go B and then LC. So this stands for Live View Composite. So it's now gonna be taking an exposure in whatever exposure we set back in our menu settings. So right now we're gonna be at a half a second exposure. It's gonna be taking that live view composite. So we're going to hit our uh, shutter button. And it's gonna take a black photo. And then it's gonna start taking live view composite photos for as long as we let it go. So we're gonna go show you exactly how to do that. And we're gonna take some test photos real quick. Okay, so here I am set up uh, at this sink and we're gonna be taking our first live view composite photo uh, of this sink here. So I might have a second exposure and the photo looks decently exposed. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll over to all the way to my live view composite. And uh, you might be thinking that this, this photo is gonna be weird to take a, like a long exposure type photo of because water running out of a sink, you know? But there's a reason for that because normally this water running out of the sink, uh, it's, not, it's not smooth flow of water. With a long exposure, all that, you know, the roughness is gonna blend together and it's gonna look very smooth, like just a stream coming out. So uh, we're just gonna mess around with this and I'm gonna show you how it goes. So we just uh, hit our first photo. And we are now taking our live view exposure. So the live view composite starts after the show button is pressed. Here we go. All right, and we're now taking live view exposures. So you can actually see the progress of the photo on the back of the screen, and obviously nothing's moving. So nothing happens right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on my faucet. And you can see my hand in the right side of the frame, and you see the water moving, and you know it's moving. So we're gonna move this a little bit and we're just gonna slide it over here. And that might look kind of cool in the photo. So you can see the movement, you can see all the different stuff. It's looking kind of weird. Uh, now we're just gonna turn it off and we're gonna stop our photo there. So it's gonna process. And that is our output photo. It looks super weird. 
But it's just an example of how this is working. It's essentially just taking a live, uh, a long exposure, uh, except it's doing it in a composite way. It's taking those photos and compositing them together. And you get the standard long, long exposure so you can see, you know, the, the faucet moving and stuff. So that's how it works. So let's go uh, take some actually good looking ones. All right, so in another test of the live view composite, I have a photo framed of my computer sitting there. And I'm going to take this light that has RG, R, R, red, blue, and green uh, colors. And I'm going to attempt to light paint over my keyboard. So let's just start this photo here. And we're now ready to start our live view composite. There we go. All right, so we're going to uh, check our exposure there. We're just going to take the red. And then we're going to take the blue. And then we're going to take the green. And I think we have some uh, red, blue, and green there, and it looks pretty cool. So we'll stop our exposure, and that is our finished photo. And I must say, from what I just saw there, I think that is a uh, pretty successful shot. Let's check it out. Right there, we can see our red, blue, and green. I think that looks pretty awesome. So that was a pretty good example where I did the light painting. And another thing you can do with these live view composites is you can say your exposure should be like 60 seconds or any longer thing, like 40 seconds, 50 seconds. And uh, you can leave your camera out at night for about two or three hours and you can get star trail photos, which looks super awesome. Uh, I'm gonna give an example of this right here. And that's a star trail photo I took. It looks really awesome with a live view composite. So that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. And if you try taking a live view composite photo, please comment below what you took it of and how it turned out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Please share this video with your grandmother, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.